हाय गाइस हाय गाइस वेलकम टू माय न्यू वीडियो इट इस ऑल अबाउट एसक्यूएल एंड एसक्यूएल एट थ्री सो इट इस फॉर बिगिनर्स इफ यू आर एसक्यूएल बिगिनर यू कैन वाच दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर एक्सपीरियंस इन एसक्यूएल यू कैन स्किप दिस सो हियर आई एम इंट्रोड्यूसिंग एसक्यूएल एट थ्री इट इस लाइट वेट एसक्यूएल इंजन वेर यू कैन स्टोर डेटा इन योर लोकल सिस्टम सो आई एम जस्ट इंस्टॉलिंग एसक्यूएल लाइट थ्री सो हियर आई एम यूजिंग पिप टू इंस्टॉल दिस वन सो दिस इज अलैबरेटरी गूगल कोलैबरेटरी सो इट विल बी ईजी टू वर्क ऑन कोलैब दैट्स वाई एम यूजिंग दिस वन फॉर डेमो पर्पज सो आई एम जस्ट इंपोर्टिंग पैंडस आई थिंक यू आर ऑलरेडी फेमिलियर विथ पैंडस लाइब्ररी सो नाउ coming to sql at 3 it is a low uh, to say it is a lightweight sql engine where many mobile devices and uh, system applications are being used uh, so to store the data in local system we need sql at 3 so uh, there will be a db file in the db file uh, your tables are going to be there I mean your data is going to be there as uh, stored in that uh, db file so let's explore now so here i'm just uh, uh, connecting this sql at 3 db so this is a uh, the file name i'm just creating a testing dot db here so you can rename it as your wish so i'm just uh, executing this one to create a testing db then i'm executing here i'm just trying to drop this table uh, table name is results so if results table is already there in the testing dot db i'm just uh, deleting it so you are starting now right so no need to delete this one so then i'm just trying to create a table a table name would be results so in that table i need only uh, these columns name it will be in text format date will be in date time format mobile will be mobile number so text format and mail so these are the four columns which i am going to create in my sql table so you can call it as schema then i am just executing this one so it will execute and it will uh, create a table with these names so let's run this one then i am trying to connect to this db so simply uh, there is no username and password required to sql at 3 because that provision is not there so i am just connecting this sql db okay yeah so now connected so i'm just uh, trying to add these four values to the table so let's run this one and then this is a simple query insert into results results will be our table name so this is the column names of table name mobile date mo mail which we already created here so i'm just uh, passing this uh, variable values name mobile date mail so the data will be coming from here now i'm just executing this command and then i'm just using commit so then the command will be completed here so now uh, data is was inserted into table okay so let's go to the next section in this section i'm going to explain you about how to query our data so now we loaded our data now i'm going to connect to my file then i am just uh, executing select star from results so this is a regular sql command so this is a one way of uh, querying data i am going to explain two ways there are many ways but uh, let's explore only this two ways so in the first method we are going to get uh, tuple type of data so let's run this one yeah so here you can see each row will be uh, displayed as a tuple so if you want to query the data in data frame format you can use this one so here i'm just writing the same command same query let me change this one yeah i'm just trying to run this one so here i will get the data frame okay done so up to now clear right so now i'm just going to tell you how to save batch wise data if you have a csv file with you and you want to store the data into sql database so you can use this one i'm just writing a simple function which will take name mobile mail 
as parameters now then i am going to uh, connect to the db and then i am inserting the values into db so this is a function i can reuse the function below so i'm just loading this data this is the dummy csv which i created so dummy csv will be looking like this you can look at this data so it is a dummy csv file so i am going to uh, store this data into our table there are around uh, 1000 values are there 1039 i think so i am just uh, simply using this function i am just displaying the data here so dummy csv is having this data the three columns so now simply i am going to uh, test our function this is the function i am just uh, trying to pass some uh, random data to test the function okay so now this data is inserted into this row right so it is working our function is working i'm just trying to run this function for entire data uh, let me see the data shape of the data which we have data dot shape so our data is consisting of uh, 11 28 by 3 so i'm just uh, trying to pass this data into database okay it will take some time then I'm going to query the data. So here uh, the query uh, can be anything. You can use uh, SQL queries here, all SQL queries. Select start from results or else select, yeah, our query was completed. So entire data was inserted into DB. So now I'm going to uh, run a query. So here select start from results where name equal to just sorry let me yeah okay yeah so now we can run this query we'll get only uh, two rows which are uh, matching to this uh, condition so you can write any sql query here so this this is all about sql light 3 basics so if you want to explore more you can go to official sql at the website here you can see these are the data data types which we can store in sql light 3 you can store a direct uh, binary file of uh, videos audios into the sql light db and text can be saved real numbers integers and null values so there are some limitations with sql 3 but to begin with sql you can start with this sql 3 so this will be best for beginners so thank you uh, in the next video probably i am going to explain you about advanced sql queries on sql 3 until then thank you bye uh, please subscribe and write your comments thank you